Um, and then notice that there is something that's experiencing that. There's something that's experiencing the person that doesn't like chaos and wants freedom. There's something that's experiencing the person that thinks about the image of freedom. There's something that's experiencing the sound of my voice, the computer, the room, the microphone, all of this, everything. It conscious, it's conscious of it, it knows it instantaneously. So there, that's, and that's not anything to do with the person. The person is also being experienced. Your thoughts, your feelings, your ideas about what's happening, your recognition, your understanding, all of it's being experienced. And that experience that cannot be found. The person can't turn around and look at the experiencer because the person is being experienced. So there's two levels that we deal with, or I deal with. There's the absolute, there's freedom that knows everything. And that freedom cannot suffer because it's not identified with a thing. And it's here right now in your experience. But what's happening in you is you're focused on the human experience, which seems solid and fixed. And you believe that you can sort the human out and the human become, become enlightened and that you're one day going to arrive there on the human level. And therefore you keep seeking in your emotions to have emotional peace or emotional stability. Stability. You seek to not feel uncomfortable, to not uncomfortable, is it that you chaos or to avoid death? And that all of that is an endless cycle. The freedom of enlightenment is recognizing that there's something that's experiencing that person that's going through that dance. It's an energetic movement from being limited to this expan expansive freedom, which is everything and nothing, which is presence. And we can work on the human and we can the human can work on itself because the human can't get to the, to freedom because the human is something that comes and goes. So there is no solid human that can eventually arrive at freedom because freedom is your nature. It's, it's what the human appears and disappears in. But what can happen on the human level is the human can become more aware of itself, more understanding of itself, and it can become a more balanced, happy human. When it's been identified, it seeks. It seeks for the freedom of presence. It seeks for the freedom of the no thing and the everything, of the absolute in itself. And it becomes endlessly frustrated because it can't find freedom in its actions, behaviors, ideas, beliefs, um, emotions, feelings, lovers, people, things. So it becomes frustrated. So what you can do is you can recondition that person to an extent to become more relaxed with what's happening. But that's not going to bring you to freedom. Because the person doesn't become free, because the person doesn't exist as a separate entity. The person is an experience. Your whole life has been an experience on the human level. Your memories, your ideas have always been experienced by something that's still and present now, that's not a thing and all things. And you, who you truly are, is ne have never left this moment. You've never come and gone. You've never been here and not been here. You've never been conscious and unconscious. It's always been present. It's always been here. And it will go on like that endlessly. In fact, endless appears in it. Endless isn't a word for who you truly are. It's something that comes and goes. So really, it's um, there is no separation. No. Is, is what I'm getting. Yeah, from the perspective of the absolute, from the per perspective of the human character, there appears to be separation and there appears to be time and cause and effect. But from who you truly are, there is no separation. I am you. The wall is you, the computer, the camera, the microphone, the colours. That's who you are. 
There is no space, time and distance in who you truly are.